Oh hey, didn't see you there. It's officially November, which means that it's getting cold, and my lungs generally don't like that. Conceptually, winter is a fantastic season. I love snow, I love the holidays, and I love the various outdoor activities you can really only do during winter. Skiing, snowboarding, sledding, snow tubing, which I really think they only added snow to in order to make it alliterative with all the other S's. It's a phenomenally fun season, except for the fact that I live in Kansas. The weather here is so chaotic that all snow almost instantly turns to ice. It's way too windy to actually do anything outdoors. And on the very, very few days it's actually still enough to go outside. My state's flat as a pancake, how am I supposed to go skiing like this? If only there were a Nintendo game that could let you participate in a bunch of great outdoor sports and activities from the comfort of your own home. No, not that one. Not that one either. Does anyone actually own this game? Okay, maybe I should widen my search a little bit. Nintendo doesn't seem to realize that winter sports exist. Apparently. So, how can I get as close to that Wii Sports level of quality as possible while still getting access to skiing? There we go! We ski! Not we ski, we ski, we ski, or we ski ball, but we ski. Spelt in perfect English like God intended. After Nintendo released the Wii and Wii Sports to the world in 2006 to astounding sales in the casual consumer market, it became pretty clear that there was a huge amount of profit to be made in taking real-world experiences and turning them into easy-to-understand video games. Sure, sports have been made into video games prior to the Wii, but let's be real, Grandma doesn't quite have the cognitive processing skills necessary to play Madden. Once Nintendo popularized motion controls and made bank off the casual market with them, it wasn't long before more Wii Sports-style games started popping up. Of course, Nintendo started the trend, turning Wii Sports into its own little franchise by making Wii Play, Wii Fit, Wii Music, Wii Sports Resorts, and... We don't talk about this one. But other games tried their own hands at capturing that same feel, often to, well, mixed results. Big Beach Sports, Cruise Ship Vacation Games, the Kids Sports Series, 101 Sports Mega Mix. There were a lot of Wii games released that didn't really seem to have much passion behind them, just a desire to make as much money off that Wii Sports market as possible. But one company, or rather one person, saw a golden opportunity to not only cater to that casual audience, but do so in a genuinely fun and unique way. Bandai Namco had apparently approached Yozo Sakakami, the creator of the Ridge Racer series, with a request for him to make a motion-controlled racing game for the Wii. To which Mr. Sakakami and pretty much the entire Ridge Racer team said, nah, let's do something different, and made a skiing game instead. We ski! Not we ski, we ski, or... They never already made that joke. Dang it! Released January 2008 in Japan and May 2008 in the US, Wii Ski, also known as Family Ski in Japan and Europe, is the first game on the Wii to really capture and expand on that Wii Sports vibe. Unlike many of the Wii Sports wannabes, which try to cram as many sports into a single game as possible, Wii Ski is, well, exactly how it sounds. It's entirely focused on skiing, and I think it's far better for it. By making a skiing-specific game, Wii Ski was able to emphasize a ton of aspects of a sport that are mostly skipped over or ignored in most sports games. Most golf games, for instance, skip over the parts where you have to walk to your ball, and with good reason, because that's really boring. But if you've ever gone skiing, you know that the whole thing is a part of the experience. Visiting a ski resort isn't just about careening down a mountain or hill, and Wii Ski does a fantastic job of making sure that every aspect of the ski experience is fun. Wii Ski is filled to the brim with charm, something made obvious when you first start playing and are popped in the middle of the happy ski resort. I said it's filled with charm, not good naming practices. Happy Ski Resort feels like an actual resort, with a ton of log cabins, wildlife, ski lifts that you can actually ride up and enjoy the view on, variety of ski courses, and of course, other skiers. Granted, all the NPCs are created using the in-game character creator, which is pretty limited, but you yourself don't have to use those character designs if you don't want to. Wii Ski has full support for memes, so if you want to see Walter White do a spread eagle, there is nothing stopping you. Speaking of doing spread eagle, while I could talk all day about the environment and NPCs of the game, there wouldn't be much point if the actual skiing mechanics weren't good. And thankfully, they're really good. They were designed to be both intuitive and immersive, letting you use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck as ski poles while having the Wii Balance Board simulate the skis. Now, for some reason, my Wii Balance Board doesn't seem to work anymore, but thankfully the game still works really well without it. Much like Wii Sports, you use the controllers to mimic what you would actually do when skiing in the real world. To get moving, you swing your arms downward to push off with your sticks. To turn, you twist your controllers to emulate twisting your body. To break, you can either turn completely horizontal to the mountain, or you can point your skis together to do that pizza wedge thing that they teach kids at ski school. There are a ton of other more intricate controls you can learn if you want to do jump tricks or more complicated and precise skiing maneuvers, but you don't need to learn any of it. 
The in-game tutorial is completely optional, and even if you do decide to learn that stuff, it really only takes about 10 minutes to get it down. Hello, and welcome to Standing Up School. And you fail. I wish I could explain how cool it is to just take those mechanics and go barreling down the mountain, though. And I do mean all the way down the mountain. The entire mountain is connected, and while lesser games would force loading zones every time you start and leave a course, in Wii Ski you can ride ski lifts all the way to the top of the mountain and take whatever route you want down, seamlessly traveling with the NPCs across multiple different courses however you choose to. And speaking of, just like a real ski resort, each course is pretty unique. You have a wide variety of space, steepness, terrain, and jumps to take on every course, with the easier ones being localized around the base of the mountain and the harder ones being spread all throughout. Want a beginner-friendly course that's pretty much just a straight shot down to the base? Rabbit's got your back. Want a course that's pretty much nothing but ramps to do air tricks off of? Go be a dolphin on the dolphin course. Want to take on wild moguls, difficult ledges, sharp turns, and the legitimate challenge of not colliding into NPCs? Then Lion might be for you. Funnily enough, while each course has a rating system where you're graded on your time, speed, turns, balance, and tricks, you don't have to go for an s score on every course. Your only reward for achieving a good grade on a course are star points, which collecting enough of can lead to cosmetics. But truth be told, I have a ton of fun on each course despite not caring about my score. Whiskey lets you tackle each course however you want, so if you want to careen down the mountain like a missile, or crash and roll down it like an avalanche in progress, you're practically encouraged to. The main appeal Whiskey has for me comes from just the sense of exploration. You're not forced to do anything in this game, you're just encouraged to have fun on the mountain. My greatest memories of this game from when I was a kid come mostly from just playing with my little brother and trying to see what cool things we could do. We would race each other down the mountain, or play a game of tag where we would try to find and crash into each other, and while I might not have anybody to play with now, I still think it's a ton of fun just exploring the mountain and playing around. Coming across wildlife, trying to complete snake as fast as possible, taking some back routes and discovering the secret big fork course, which is the true hardest course in this resort, I had an absolute blast just getting footage for this video. Granted, I would have enjoyed it more with friends, so if anyone wants to net play, let me know. Of course, for people who don't enjoy exploration as much and want more direct things to do, there are a ton of missions to complete in exchange for star points, which, as previously mentioned, unlock cosmetics. There are 160 total star points, about half of which come from getting S plus rank on each course, and the other half come from missions. And to be honest, even if you're not aiming to be a completionist and get all 160, the missions are still pretty fun to do. There's a whole scavenger home where you need to find 10 people across the whole resort in sequence, challenges where you need to complete slaloms on various courses, challenges where you need to find a missing child. How did you lose that child? They're right there! I will say, the most obnoxious mission is the stupid little question child who just shows up randomly and asks some of the weirdest trivia questions. How am I supposed to know what percentage of water is snow? But aside from this pesky pips week, I find a lot of the challenges pretty enjoyable. The food delivery ones were especially fun because they often required you to take routes that you don't usually take, continually skiing between multiple courses or taking side routes around courses. That's not to say the game is without fault, though. I love this game a lot, but I'm not blinded by nostalgia. There are a few moments where the game feels sluggish, some of the controls are a bit more confusing than others, and I don't like the look of the built-in characters at all, but if you use a me, it feels like you're the odd one out. But despite those faults, Wii Ski was and is a great game and I look forward to playing its sequel here pretty soon. Granted, I also look forward to going outside again here pretty soon, but, uh... Nope. 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 Nuh-uh. Not worth it. I hate Kansas.